In this video, we will go for synthesis and reactions of diphenyl methane. So the first part is the synthesis. The synthesis involves the first one that is Friedel Craft alkylation reaction. In this synthesis, benzyl chloride react with benzene in presence of aluminium chloride. The electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction takes place whereby one of the hydrogen of the benzene ring and this chlorine will be liberated out as HCl and thus we get formation of diphenyl methane. The second one is by Grignard reaction. As you all know that for the Grignard reaction, the starting material is alkyl magnesium halide. So here to synthesize diphenyl methane, we will use phenyl magnesium bromide, which in turn can be prepared by the bromobenzene and magnesium. So phenyl magnesium bromide react with benzyl chloride. There is removal of magnesium chlorobromide. The reaction takes place at about 60 degrees centigrade. And with the removal of magnesium chlorobromide, we obtain the desired compound diphenyl methane. Dear student, the last synthesis is by Friedel Craft acylation reaction. Actually, this is the synthesis for aromatic ketones. The starting material is benzoyl chloride that react with benzene. Once again, the reaction takes place in presence of a Lewis acid like aluminum chloride. There is liberation of AlCl4. The benzoyl cation so form attack on the aromatic benzene ring to bring about the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction and thus we get formation of benzophenone. The benzophenone on reaction with zinc amalgam in presence of hydrochloric acid liberate out a molecule of zinc oxide and with the attachment of the protons from hydrochloric acid the desired compound diphenylmethane is obtained. So these three are the synthesis of diphenyl methane. Now let's go for the reactions of diphenyl methane. The first example is nitration reaction. Here we can see that with the aromatic rings, the methylene group is attached. If we consider one of this aromatic ring, we may say that the benzyl group is attached on the benzene ring. And being alkyl group, this is the electron releasing group. So this group impart the electrophilic substitution reaction on the benzene ring at either ortho or the para position. As we all know that the para products are the major products. The nitronium ion, which is generated by reaction of nitric acid and sulfuric acid, will get attached on the para position of the benzyl group. And thus we get the formation of 1 benzyl 4 nitrobenzene. So this is the mono substituted product. We have a di substituted product also. The second nitro group will attach on the para position of the second benzene ring and thus we get 4,4 dinitro diphenyl methane as the other product. The second reaction is the halogenation reaction. Here the starting material is diphenyl methane which when react with bromine in presence of FeBr3 undergoes the classical bromination reaction that is the example of halogenation and which is under the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Once again the substitution takes place at the para position of one of the benzene ring. The product obtained is 1 benzyl 4 bromobenzene. 
Now, when diphenylmethane is reacted with bromine in presence of ultraviolet light, the reaction is the free radical substitution reaction which chiefly takes place on the benzylic carbon that is this carbon one of the hydrogen and the bromine will be liberated out as hbr and the second bromine being the free radical will attach on the benzylic carbon to form bromo diphenyl methane the last reaction is the oxidation reaction. The oxidation clearly indicates the removal of the hydrogens from the benzylic carbon. So diphenylmethane on reaction with the oxidizing agents undergoes oxidation to form the benzophenone. So dear students, this is the synthesis and reactions of diphenylmethane. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank